Hi, welcome to The Juice. My name is Tools. Our very special guest today is one of the youngest but fast rising stars from Nigeria. Hasn't even been a year, has it, since you dropped it's gonna, your festival? It's going to be in April. So yeah. It's like been like eight months. In case you didn't know, it's David O. Uh, like you said, it hasn't been up to a year. When did you actually drop your first single? Um, I dropped back when in April, like April, yeah, March, no, late March, but the video April. So okay, and then of course you have Dami Duro, yeah, which I was last Dami year, Dami just towards the end of last year. Yeah. It has been crazy, hasn't it? Man, it's been, it's been a, like, like I'm young and I'm seeing things like crazy stuff, man. How, how like, young? I'm 19. Wow. Yeah. Wow, well done. Okay, I read somewhere that you actually dropped out of school to yeah. kind of go into... It's something we kind of have yeah, to talk about. Yeah. You, uh, you dropped out of school to actually go into... Um, nah, my you parents know, wouldn't this, let me. My parents would, to like chase your dream and everything. My parents, they never would have that, man. So they were very, very against it. What? No, I mean, I didn't, I didn't drop out of school. So you, what did you do? Did you take like a gap year or nah, what did I'm you do? I'm in school, but um, I'm, on a, I'm on a different program now. now. Okay. Part-time program, kind of. Part-time program? Yeah. All right. What was their initial reaction when you were like, Mom, Dad, um, I want to go after At first, like, I was never, when I came during Christmas, I was like, oh, I want to stay. Yeah. Like, no, you better go back. I'm not having that. You better go back. And then when I went back to America, I didn't tell anybody. I just moved back, me and my cousins. You moved back without your parents knowing? Yeah, I was here for like two months. Where two were you days. staying? Mm, somewhere in Maryland. Are you serious? <laughs> I was just thinking of ways to just break news to him. Like, look, because I already sorted out my transfer everything yeah so like I was like, okay even if he does find out I already have all my papers to prove to him that I'm gonna stay in school so is it more your is it more your dad oh yeah my dad yeah, my dad okay my dad, yeah. um has he seen you on stage what was his nah, reaction the first time he saw first you on time stage, he saw me on stage. It was my uh, my sister's boutique lunch and he he, he flew out to my, my toy in London he surprised me he came for one Aww. of the stops so it was crazy so is he like 110% supportive now? 200%. Yeah. Okay, yeah. good, good, good. No. Okay, I remember when I first heard back when, mm -hmm. and I remember when I first met yeah. you when you were, you know, you were there and we were talking about the song. Mm -hmm. And of course, one of the things I remember from the song is, you know, the part where you say, back when I was broke, mm -hmm. yo, all that stuff. But you're not broke, are you? Your, mm -hmm. your family are actually loaded. <laughs> my family is, my dad is, I'm not. Okay. You know, I mean, it's, it's, but were, you, were you ever broke? See, he will pay my school fees, you understand? Go to school, blah, blah, blah. Apart from that, I mean, what, what, he won't give me too much money because he doesn't want me to go and do using the money for something. So, personally, like, now I have personally, my own money. Personally, you were, you were I was not personally. broke. I won't say okay. I was broke, but I just didn't have my own money, per se. Okay. But now I have my own money. If you look at my bank account, you see my own money. Really? I, yeah. Like, how much are you talking? No. <laughs> how much do you have in your pocket right now? Nah, I just have my ATM card. I don't want cash like that. Oh. Except I need it. Mm. Right. Yeah. Uh, what do your parents think about your tattoos and everything? You know, I hid it from them for like a year. I was like, I'm how did you? How many tattoos did you have? How how did you manage to hide all of them? No, I used to wear long sleeve now, and like I never like I never really used to see him like that because I come for Christmas, I make sure like I don't really see him. Like In the that. heat and everything, yeah, you wear like wear my people be looking at me, I'll be sweating. <laughs> they ask me like, why, why? I'm like, nah, it's cool. But one day I was in I was in the living room and I was sleeping, like my shirt off, and he came back home like four. Just okay, huh? Clearly, what is this? I was like, whoa. And then from then, like. And you had the whole sleeve and everything? I had, I had like hair, but I didn't really have hair and stuff. Oh, the first time my parents saw mine, I was like, it's henna. Yeah, I, yeah, like, it's I, henna. I, told, I told mine it was glitter from Shibabe. <laughs> that thing, there was no spray, spray paint, I was. And then after like a week, and after two I weeks, know, one we day, that me says that, oh, try this thing on. I was like, damn. I said, okay, I'll go downstairs. You know, no, 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 just try it on. And I took it, it was not, it's not the same thing I was already last week. Like, yeah. And they just fine with it now. Yeah, I like art though. That's why I'm okay. done though. You're done. No more. No more. So we can't. We won't. We shouldn't expect like some kind of little Wayne all no, over. No, no, no. How many do you have so far? I have like twenty something. Wow. <laughs> Okay, um, so we've spoken about your, well, like I said, it hasn't been a full year. Mm -hmm. Why do you think you've actually been so successful? Um, I don't know. Apart from like when I did drop, I said apart from whiskey that was popping. I felt like there was a bit of space and stuff for me. So I just really capitalized on who I knew and relationships, like you guys at the beat, um, you know what I'm saying? Just stuff like that. And then videos, follow up, follow up. Mm -hmm. If you have this song, make sure you have something next, documentary. I just try yeah. to be relevant and everything just 
I don't know. And you were like, there was a point last year where every single show you were yeah. there, even when you just had one song. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you were just there, you were just doing yeah, shows, shows up and down. Doing shows, like, across the, how did how did that come about? Man, it was just crazy. Like from from Issa, my manager getting a call a week to like seven calls a day to now like twenty calls a day. It's like it's crazy and stuff. It's oh. it's mad. I yeah. know there are a lot of people that are just like, how how, how did yeah, you do that? How did I that know. happen? It's just crazy. And now we're going to places like, like what? He tells me, oh, we're going I know to you just you just came out from London as yeah. well. You did the Basket Mouse show. Yeah, I did. Over there. When I did the Basket Mouse show, I got booked for seven other shows. Like in, in London. Mexico. Yeah. Wow. So I did a UK tour. It was the love was just crazy. I couldn't believe it, man. Oh, wow. The love was crazy. Well, well done, well done. Yeah. Um, we can't really talk about your, your success without talking about um, your female fans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. You know there are plenty, right? I don't know, are you sure? Yes, my niece is one of them. Are you and her, mo her mom's like, you cannot talk to her at all. <laughs> so why do you think you have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of female fans? I don't know. Um, but I mean, good boys always form now. You know, and, every, and I feel like if the females like you, guys have to like you. Really? Guys like the females and females like So basically, if you can get the females, the guys will come along because they want to... No, no, I mean like the music, I'm talking about music. Oh, just the music, okay. Yeah. I like making music like... You don't think there's something about you that kind of just, you know, maybe attracts like... I mean, I'm not attracted to men, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> okay, somebody told me one thing though. What? This. <laughs> it's this. Uh, it's this. Do you have a lot of girls saying, oh my God, I love your dimples? Yeah, sometimes. Okay. Do you use that though? No, 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 no. Do you kind of, you know, maybe you just know go to girl and just shows, smile? You know and... Like every time. Okay, so when is your album coming out? I mean, like, we're really planning for like the end of this year, but like, we've been getting a lot of calls from marketers, like a lot. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to, um, she was shooting two new, new videos, um, so it's looking like summertime. And who have you been working with on the um, album? Can we expect Maydee, collabos? And... Yeah, Maydee, One Day. With Wonder Cool? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Later see I already did one with him. Um Two Face producing Y Sheezy. Might do some with Jazzy too as well. Okay. Um so Any collabs with female artists? Yeah, Tiwa. I'm going to do some with Tiwa definitely. I think Tiwa right now she's running everything, right? For female. Yeah. yeah, she's doing it. Uh what about in terms of international collabs? Is Chris that possible? Brown, man. I love Chris Brown. If you were able to come back you know, like be born again, mm -hmm. come back to earth and yeah. everything. And one of the main rules was, well, the main rule is that you had to be a female celebrity. Yeah. Who would you be? Adele. You'd come back as Adele? Yeah. Why? Because she's making so much money right now. That's it? I mean, part of it. And she's making beautiful music. And she's, how old is she, 22? I think she's about 23 or something. Adele, no, Adele or Jessie J. So you'd come back as, as in you would? I love Jessie J and Adele. All right. Yeah. I didn't expect you to say that. I thought you were going to say something like Rihanna. Nah, I don't want to get beat up. Moving swiftly on, um, <laughs> tell me one thing. Tell me one thing that a lot of people don't know about you. Like, that a lot of people, if they find out, they'd be like, really? A lot of people don't know, like, I produce my, like, my own stuff. No, I knew that. Yeah, but, but a lot of uh, people, like, people forget. But that. one strange fact about David O. Uh, one strange fact. Like, it's do you have one like, extra toe or like... Nah, like, I, I use the bathroom to light off. You have to use the bathroom? I have to, I can't, the light can't be on. Why? I, just, I don't know. Everybody, my house, there's always there, because every time I'm in the bathroom, there's not, somebody there, I'm like, yeah. Why? Like, why is the light off? I don't know. I you, just feel like I'm in my own are you, are world. You, are you scared to see something? No, 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 not bathroom, no. As in, using the bathroom is in, yeah. you know? No, I just feel like I'm just alone in the world and like I'm, you know, so. Okay. <laughs> Alright, what's up? What's up? I'm on DBT, David O. And I'm driving out. Yeah, yeah, you guys already know the rest. It's your boy, AK, Omobao, Lou, David O.